Hey everybody, it's Sherry at the Crafty Decorator. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope y'all had a fantastic day. It is so cold here. Not as cold as some of you have, but it is cold. When you jump on, just say, hey, that you're here. So I know that I'm working. I'm gonna starting to see numbers. I'm gonna wait for comments and I was able to flip my phone today. Yay, I'm able to flip my phone. Okay, I'm gonna wait for comments. I see Gina is watching. Hi, DJ Mindy. DJ Mindy Kaminsky. I pretty hope I said that right. Hello. Hi, Manny Torres. How are you? And Faye, thanks for the hearts, guys. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. I finally got one thing done for Valentine's Day. My dining room table, if you all seen it. I finally got that done. Uh, hi, Cherokee Chick. How are you? Okay, so I don't know if you've seen these frames. Now I have some from fall and then I have white ones I just bought in the Dollar Tree. Have you seen these frames in the Dollar Tree? They have a little bead thing on them. Hey, I'm watching from Kimball, Tennessee. Hi, Caroline and Pam. You guys are so sweet. Oh, Emily, thank you for the stars. You're so sweet. And thanks for the hearts, everybody. Okay, I wanted to do something with this and I wanted to do something with cherubs. So I was searching online for cherubs and I asked my friend Lee <laughs> if she was going to be cutting out any cherubs. So she cut cherubs out for me. Uh, oh, Debbie, thank you. I, I like my table. I like it in red. She cut cherubs out for me and she cut me three sizes. So I am going to be doing different things with them. Um, on Amazon, I only found tiny little wood cutouts, tiny ones, and they were kind of baby looking, not like this vintage old time cherubs. Look how cute these are, cupids, not cherubs, cupids, cupids. So she cut me out big ones. I think, I don't even know how big this is. I should measure it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm kind of liking this guy for an ornament. Uh, hi, uh, Deborah. How are you? And Tamara and Linda. Okay, this guy measures. He is about he's about nine, maybe a little bit over nine. Oh, Billy, you're so sweet, Billy. I think I sent an order out to you today, did I not? Or yesterday? I can't remember. He's about nine inches, maybe a little bit bigger. This one is about six, he's about six inches. This one, this is a good ornament size too. Then the little one that fits perfect in this picture frame. I just did them a little bit ago. He's about four and a half. He's about four and a half inches. Sharon, thank you for the stars. You guys are so sweet. You're so sweet. Okay. So, she cut me out my little cupids. And Diana, thank you for the stars. These are going to be available on her website. So, it's Noman Backyard. Tanya, how are you, girl? Um, Lee's website is Noman Backyard. I don't know if you follow her and Grandma Jean. Uh, but if you don't, check her out on Facebook. But she also has a website that she sells wood cutouts. Some awesome wood cutouts. So she is going to have these because <laughs> I asked her to make them. She's going to have these on her website. Vicki, thank you, Vicki, for the stars. Your table looked amazing and now a fun craft. It's a good day. I got to get some stuff in, guys. I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, I am leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving like at uh, 3.30 in the morning, I think. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You're so sweet. We made our little star party. Thank you all so much. You're so sweet for doing the stars for me. Okay, three different sizes. I think, I believe she is selling them. You get a big, the medium, and a small. A set that looks like this heart and a set that has the heart and the arrow. I believe uh, she's going to let me know when she gets them on. She sent them to be on, but this is how my, <laughs> this is how my turned out. And I am so addicted to the flocking. I am addicted to the flocking. This is the pink flocking. 
Uh, I love Grandma Jean. I love Grandma Jean, too. She is such a sweetheart. Okay, the first thing I did... Now, I did not, like, save one of the white ones. I, I did all the papers on them. Okay. But you can find these with the frames in the Dollar Tree. In the Dollar Tree. So, the first thing I did was remove the back. It's just got these little lift-up tabs. Haven't seen any of them in a store. Deb, I have not... I don't think I've ever found wood uh, cupid cutouts anywhere. So remove this from here. Then I put a layer of Mod Podge on there. And I have to show you the cute little Valentine book I got at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has all Easter out and... Uh, St. Patty's Day. <laughs> it's all out, guys. Sherry, can you make a pattern of the cupids? Michelle, I'm sure. I'm sure you want to cut them out in fabric or something. Um, I'll ask Lee if she doesn't mind if I... I have flocking everywhere. My, my mosh posh is coming flocking. Um, happy Tuesday, Peggy. Peggy. Okay. So I let this dry. I let that dry and then I iron my paper on there. Uh, and Noman back art. Thank you, Rose Miller. I got some of those frames. They are nice. Aren't they cute, Lori? You can paint it now if you want to paint it. But I thought I would leave it white to show my paper more. But you can paint it. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. I have one dried with flocking all over it. Hi, Alice from Ohio. I watch you and Lee and Grandma Jean all the time. I'm sure she'll come up with a craft with these little uh, cupids also. All right, this is in the Valentine section. They're 40% off. These have cute papers in them. Look at this one. I might use this one. There's the pink polka dots. There's... One with a flower with pink wood polka dots. Uh, there's a lace looking one. Maybe I use lace. There's a pretty pink vintage wallpaper. Uh, you have missed seeing me. Bambi, what have you been doing, girl? There's a couple. Let's see. Does it say how many prints? 16 designs and you get three of each. Our Dollar Tree is now $1.25. So is ours, Karen. <laughs> ours is too. I just found that out yesterday when I was out looking. Oh, this heart one is cute. When I was out looking for my red chargers. Love the craft paper. Sharon, isn't it cute? And you know what? It's a good size for these. For these little um, cardboards or whatever it is. Wood. It's a good size for these. Look at this heart. I like this one. I like this one. Uh, Leslie, it's from Hobby Lobby. It's $6.99 and then 40% off. It's 40% off the $6.99. Now, Easter and St. Patty's Day is not on sale. But I did buy something Easter because I was afraid they'd all sell out. I'll show you later. Okay. I just kind of make sure that I'm centered. I kind of make sure I'm centered. I lay a piece of parchment paper over and iron it. Uh, is your tree yellow? <laughs> it's looking yellow because it's the lighting, I think. it's It used to be white. It turned cream. That paper is perfect for crafts. I bought a ton of little books, maybe two years ago, when they were all clearance at Hobby Lobby. Really, really cheap. So, Sherry, I don't know what flocking is. I'm going to show you because we're going to do it together. I did use flocking um, once before. But we're going we're gonna to do a Cupid in flocking. Okay, you guys taught me this. <laughs> you taught me this. And the paper stuck. Now, I do put a coat on top. But first, I like to sand my ends off. And boy, I had a hard time sanding this paper. I guess this paper is kind of thick. I think it's more like cardstock. 
It doesn't say that on there, but I think it's more like cardstock. It's, hear it? It's kind of thick. Do you dry iron? I dry iron, Louise. Dry iron. Um, you love all my girls on the tree. They got to get downstairs. I have to show you, too. I added bows and flowers in their hair. Okay, I sand this off. I'm using sandpaper because it was hard. This paper is thick. <laughs> I have to um, post the link to the video or the blog for the little birdie. Someone asked um, if I made that little birdie. And we made that little birdie last year. The little Valentine birdies. Uh, Josie. Josie, you're so sweet. Thank you. All my white trees have turned yellow. It's a creamy color. It's like a creamy yellow, maybe. Um, don't get rid of it. I won't get rid of it until all the needles start falling off it. Then, look at I had to use 120 grit sandpaper to get this paper. I tried the nail file. It wouldn't work. Hi, Joy from Missouri. You made a lot of girls. <laughs> They're going to go on my tree downstairs. I got to get them on my tree. And I still, you know what? I was downstairs today. And I had bought in and I did not put them on the site yet. Because every time I go to Lancaster, I try to get more. But I have gotten rusty, primitive um, angel wings. And I might... And two different sizes. And I might try to put one. I might try to put one on there. Um, I didn't know. <laughs> Lee. Lee, don't worry about the cupids. I, I'm going with it, Lee. Lee is on here. <laughs> Lee is on here. I told them, Lee, I will let them know when your cupids are up. See, now when I want a special wood cut out, I just go to my friend Lee. I just go to my friend Lee. Okay, I do Mod Podge on top of the paper. Uh, white trees turn cream from being in heat if stored in attic. Mine has been just in the bedroom. It used to always be in my bedroom, uh, but it still turned creamy yellow. Uh can't wait to get my hand towels. <laughs> Billy, they went out today, girl. I saw that of those. I did not have a lot of them. Uh, thanks for the hearts, guys. So I'm just going to add a coat on top. Then this could dry while we're doing flocking. I'm going to show you flocking. Flocking fibers. And I did not realize, because I told you all, the red I got off of Amazon. And then when I wanted colors for Easter... Because we're going to do some chicks. We're going to do chicks with yellow. <laughs> and I bought orange and green for the carrots. For the Dollar Tree cutouts. Um, I found them cheaper on eBay. And when I was just looking today. Susan, thank you for the stars. It's the same company. It's the same company as the ones I bought on Amazon. But they're cheaper if you buy them on eBay. Uh, mine are always, but Bambi, so are mine. And my trees are stored in my attic too. Oh, from the sun. It could be from the sun. I used to have it in the corner by the windows. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. I have others done, but I'm going to let that dry. Okay, I'm going to suggest, I already paint painted one. We're going to use the small one I already have done. But I, I'm i going to suggest you paint it whatever color flocking you want to use. So I'm using red flocking on this. So I just paint it one coat real quick. Just in case any of the flocking is thinner in an area, you're not going to see wood. <laughs> Dollar Tree has some Easter out. Oh, Diane, I did not see any Easter in any of ours. I did not see Easter. Okay, use a paper plate because you're going to want to be able to put your flocking back in your bag. You're going to want to save it. 
Now, they sell flocking adhesive. I'm not using that. Um, I also read on one of the flocking things that you could just use glue. So, I'm just using a clear crafting tacky glue. That's all I'm using. Uh, hi, Latrina. Cut Sharon, are the cutouts not the cutest? Um, okay, I already put some in a cup. And I always put it in a cup. I always put it in a cup in my brush. Okay, I cover this. Now, I'm going to show you the big one I did with flocking. I try to do the sides. It's kind of hard. I'm looking at it. Some I have some little bare spots. So you can either paint the sides red, or I kind of just like that wood look. It's a pretty wood look. I should have just left this wood look. So excited for flocking Kim Harper. <laughs> Kim Harper, I have yellow. I think I ordered purple. Um green, pink, uh, okay, brush, glue. I'm very generous with the glue because you want the flocking to stick. So I'm generous with the glue. I kind of put it on, th I kind of put it on thick. <laughs> uh, love them, but sparkle on them. Vicki, you could, you could glitter them. You can paper them, and I'm going to show you, and we could try one. Um, I bought some glitter paper. Not as thick of the glitter paper as I did the other day, but it's a thinner glitter paper. I did buy that to try. I need to get more cutouts from my friend. <laughs> Hi, Delilah. How are you? So I add glue on the whole thing before you're going to flock. Now, if you want to do both sides, if you're going to use them as an ornament, I would paint both sides and then glue one side, flock one side. And you're going to have to at least give it, I gave mine like two hours to dry because my glue is so thick. Uh, can you get flocking at Hobby Lobby? Debbie, I've never seen it. I've never seen it in any store. I'm not saying you can't get it in a store, but when I have Googled, where can I buy flocking? No store comes up. It's all like websites. I was going to try to find it wholesale so I could maybe sell it. I had to see. And I can use it for craft kits. What do you do with all the crafts that you make? I try to use them all. Some I give uh, to my daughter-in-laws. and But I try to use them. Like this. Like these little boxes. I can hang these on my tree. Or you can hang them on a hook on your cabinet. Or it will just stand and let your beads fall to the back. Where did you get the, <laughs> there's nothing else. To, oh, the cupids. These are from Lee, Lee from Gnome and Backyard. She's going to sell these. She's cutting these out. I asked her to make me some cupids before I bought them from anywhere else. Amazon only had little tiny ones in a wood cutout. So I asked her if she was going to be making any. <laughs> so she cut them out for me, her and her husband. Uh, Fred, and she is going to sell them on her page, on her store. She's going to let me know when it's up so I can post it too. I'm good, Leslie. How are you? Okay, it's nice and covered with glue. See all that glue I have on there? Use your plate. You might even want to put, I have like this foil pan under me because it gets all over my rubber mat. Um, let's see. Hello from Tennessee. Hi, Paula. Okay, this is flocking. This, they kind of, they sell that you could do a jewelry drawer in this to make it. It's like, I don't know, fuzzy fibers. <laughs> it's fuzzy fibers. But what I do is 
I kind of break it up a little bit because it's a little clumpy in there. And then I sprinkle it all over. Don't worry about putting too much on there because you're going to put it back in the bag. You're going to put it back in your bag. So I put a lot. Lee didn't know what flocking was either. So Lee, are you paying attention? Because we're flocking. <laughs> okay. I have, I have quite a bit on there, but all my extra is going to go back in the bag. They also sell a little pump that you can pump your flocking out with. I don't know. I just didn't want to buy any of that stuff until I made sure my flocking worked and I was going to like it. Kim Harper, thank you for decorating the page. I love your Cupid in red. So pretty. The red's pretty. I like the pink too. Um, I'm a pinky person too. Okay. I pat it all down on there. I think my little thing needs more. Now, if you want to paint his arrow gold, you cannot flock. You can just put not put flocking on there and you'd be able to paint that arrow gold. That would be pretty too. I'll have to try one like that. <laughs> Stephanie, they are going to be on uh, my friend Lee from Noman Backyard. They are going to be on her website for sale. Um, I asked her to make them for us. <laughs> I asked her to make them for us. So she made them and she's going to be selling them on her website. Okay, then you're going to set this aside and let it dry for like at least an hour. You can check it after an hour and see, but I kind of want to say two hours. So if you just do a bunch at once. Gnome in Backyard, thank you. Would not have thought she said gnome. <laughs> yes, gnome. Gnome in Backyard. Okay. I need to clean my hands. I'm using all the extra baby wipes. <laughs> I'm using all the extra baby wipes that are left. Okay. I should keep this here. Here is a bigger one. This is the big one. Now, I did him a while ago. I did him like, I don't know, a couple hours ago. So I'm going to pick them up and I tap them off. You can take a brush. I like using this light feather brush. Uh, where did you get the flocking from? The flocking is, you can go right to their website. Um, it's www.craftflocking.com. If you want to take a screenshot, it's craftflocking.com. I got it on eBay. They, I guess they have a store on eBay. But if you look up flocking fibers on eBay, it will come up. They were the cheapest. I kind of brush them off. Then you can just put all this back in your bag. Hi, Susan. So he kind of, he looks like a little velvety. Let's see. All right. I am going to order, I think, the... The flocking adhesive and see if it works different okay so there this is what it looks like can you see it it's kind of velvety looking do you sell it with anything oh seal it with anything julie i don't it does not say to seal it with anything so i don't i'm just gonna brush them a little bit more Okay, but isn't he, isn't it pretty? I think it's so pretty. I think it's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to set him. Well, let me, I'm going to set him there because I'm doing something else with him. See, if you use a paper plate, you could just go like this and dump it back in your bag. I forget how much I paid for this, but it's, I think, a, it's 
three ounce bag. I think it's a, I think it's a three ounce bag. Uh, Sherry, you got to make dinner. Oh, you got to make dinner. I love that you are always showing us new techniques. Flocking. I'm so excited to try. I think I'm going to order the flocking glue stuff and see if it makes a difference. If it stays on a lot better. I don't know. That flocking technique is so cool. <laughs> Lee, isn't it cool? Lee, it's so cool, Lee. I'm going to need some more cupids. Um, I told them, Lee, I'll let them know when you have them up. I'll let them know. I got like flocking all over my board. Okay. I'm going to set him aside a minute. That's what we're making. There. Okay, here's my little one done. This is my little one done right here. Okay, when you put your Mod Podge on top, does it bubble? Because mine bubbles. So I am <laughs> I'm gonna run the iron over it again. Most are button batteries. Look for size stamp. Oh, I don't know what she was asking. Uh, Lee, we need cupids. <laughs> she's working on them. I think she's just waiting for her web guy to put them on her website. I think she's just waiting. Oh, I got flocking on my board. But, okay. I don't know. My paper bubbles up. I think it's this cheaper stuff. Uh, did you get it on eBay? Julie, I did. I bought the red I got on Amazon, but all my other colors I got on eBay, it's the same company on eBay as on Amazon, and they're cheaper on eBay. So could you flock cardboard and glass? Kim Harper. I don't know. I got to look it up, girl. I'm sure you can flock cardboard. I'm sure you can. Um, cardboard's just like the wood. I'm sure you can flock cardboard. Look at, I should have wore my apron. <laughs> uh, I don't put on top. Don't care for the shine. Oh, see, you don't put on top. I should probably start not putting on top. I just thought it as a sealer. Because it does bubble for me when I put it on top. But now I got it down. I got it down. Now you can paint your frames. If you want to paint your frames, you can paint your frames. But I'm leaving mine white. Should I do white or should I do regular? Um, I got to decide what color I want to use. Hi, Elaine. Is it glittery or like cotton? Bambi, it's like cotton. I think it is a... Oh, maybe I want to do the wood color. I think it's... Uh, polyester. I forget what it is. I forget what it is, what it's made out of. It's either, I think it's polyester. I think it's either polyester or rayon. Okay. I'm thinking I might like just the wood board. <laughs> Where'd you get the chair? I got the cupid from Lee. She's going to put him on her website. Um, Lee from Noman Backyard. So if you're not following her, you need to follow her. She's going to put them on her website um, for sale. And I will let you all know, too, when she sends me a text that they're up. Uh, Vicky, Vicky, you're so sweet, Vicky. All right, I think I'm going to do this one in the wood color. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I just put my wood back in there, push my little pins down, and put my wood back in there. Now... I want to make sure I'm going to like the wood color. Yeah, I think I kind of do. I think I kind of like the wood color. He fits in there perfect. He fits in there perfect. I am just going to add hot glue to the back of him. I'm just going to add hot glue. Drying wood heat gun. Oh, I missed that. Will you get the three towels back in stock? Karen, I will. I just got to go to Lancaster. <laughs> I got to go to Lancaster. I get those in Lancaster and um, I'll be gone now tomorrow until next Wednesday. 
I'm not sure if we could go before the 27th. I'm going to have to see. I will try. So I just add all my hot glue. Now I got to place them in there. Okay. Probably could use a little more flocking on the end of his hair. But, oh, God, is that that cute? Uh, hi, Marlene. Carol, these are so cute. Um, I was looking. I have to show you later what I found in the Dollar Tree. And one of our Dollar Trees has a ton of fall stuff out, like fall stickers and the metal words. They must have got them in late. They must have got them in late. Okay, what I do with my little letter? Here they are. Whoops. Okay. I don't know if you've seen, oh, last year, if you go to the thrift stores and you see a Scrabble game, make sure the little words, the little blocks are in there, but buy them. I have four, I think. I buy, they were, I got the Scrabbles for $1.99 just for all the little wood things. Uh, Thank you, Sybil. So this one I did the Mayan. Be Mayan. Now, if you can't find a Scrabble, or I think you can order these little blocks off of Amazon, or um, Hobby Lobby sells these ones, and they might even sell these, um, these little blocks in their wood department. But they sell these little stickers, these sticker ones, if you want them. They're wood um, in their paper scrapbooking sticker aisle and they're $1.50 today because they're half off. Paper Studio is half off today. I've been cutting up all my cards I could find with roses and Valentine's design. Going to use them <laughs> for crafts. I ordered some vintage cards, Easter ones, off Amazon. I I like them, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm iffy about them because some, some of them seem a little blurry to me. I made your doll girl today. Yay, Patricia. Patricia, I'm going to um, try to put a wing on, wings on her and see what she looks like. Okay, this one I think I'm going to put love you on. Let's see. I want to see what it's going to look like. <laughs> All right. I kind of like them better on the white, but I'm going with it. I'm going with it. You see them better on the white. Dollar General carries them in the craft section. Oh, I hardly ever go to Dollar General. Walmart. Some Dollar Generals have the wood ones. Can you tell me if Hobby Lobby sells diamond dust? Diamond dust. Diamond glitter I have got in there. I'm not sure about diamond dust. I think I have diamond dust. And I think I bought it the same time I buy my mica. Or maybe it's mica dust. It might be mica dust. But I think I might have diamond dust. Okay. So I'm going to put love you on mine. So all I do is add my little hot glue on the back. And I start in the corner. And I make it even with the inside of my frame. So I'm making it even with the inside of my frame. Uh, you just had a troll ask if I was married. Oh, you like them on this frame? I thought they kind of blend in a lot, but we're going to see. Diamond dust at Michael's. See? Oh, Wayne. Thank you, Wayne, for answering. Diamond dust at Michael's. Michael's has been getting much better on their craft stuff. They were getting pretty bad on their craft stuff for a while. No, Diamond Dust, not at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> See, Karen said too. She probably looked it up. Um, I'm looking for a wire heart. Can't find them. Okay, Pam. Um, I haven't seen them in a while in Dollar Tree. But. Now, Hobby Lobby sells that same wire heart. It's heavier, uh, but it's more money. But it's in their floral. 
oops, I pushed too hard. It's in their uh, floral department. At least our Hobby Lobby has it. I've seen it there. Hi, Susan. Order Diamond Dust on Amazon. Not sure where it's cheaper. You can get a 20 off coupon at Michael's. They send those out a lot. Oh, dry brush the letters with white. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. How's your day? Hope it's going great. Thank you for amazing ideas. What was that? Uh, Tonya, thank you. I found diamond dust at Michael's. Michael's is the diamond dust store. I'm not sure if Joann's carries it. Because there you can use a 40 off coupon or a 50 off coupon. They have coupons all the time. Would love to purchase these <laughs> these cupids. Kim, Lee will let us know as soon as she gets them up. Michael's just had a 70 off sale in Canada. Hobby Lobby's got 75% off. I went in today to get my chargers, my red chargers for my table. And I went in the 75 off aisle to look for more towels, but everything, <laughs> it went down from two aisles down to one aisle now. They're 75% off. Whoops, I'm going upside down. I would like to ask followers. Honey Bradshaw, what do you want to ask? Where did you get that tree behind you? <laughs> My sister gave me that years ago. It used to be white. Oh, don't have a Michaels. You can order online from Michaels. Or they said Amazon you could get. The diamond dust. Okay. Hmm. See, love you. Um, can you do a craft with hearts? Trying to come up with something for the kids. Each with hearts. Hearts, hearts, hearts. We will do hearts. I was doing a bigger heart. Okay, this is simple, guys. This is just so simple. <laughs> I, I think she needs a bow. But I need pink. I need pink. I can't put our white. Maybe white. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, maybe white. I'll see. Uh, thank you for the hearts. Uh, hi, Sherry. You make the cutest crafts, and I love your table. Marge, thank you. I'm just going to make a little bow. Uh, love your crafts. eBay has heart wreath frames. Oh, how much are they on eBay? I forget how much they are in Hobby Lobby, but you can look online in Hobby Lobby to see if they're cheaper on eBay. The only thing I don't like eBay is the people buy them in the Dollar Tree and then they sell them for a lot more money. Where'd you say that you got your cupids? I got my cupids from my friend Lee in Gnome and Backyard, at Gnome and Backyard. So you need to follow Lee. Lee and Grandma Jean from Gnome and Backyard. She is going to put them on her website for sale. Thanks for the hearts. Okay, let me see. I think this will work. Oh, looks a little twisted. Diamond dust is crushed glass. I think I have some in the in my cabinet. Can you do hearts with wire like you did the candy canes? Oh, we can. I have to make myself a template. <laughs> I have to make myself a template to bend the heart because I will never get it the same a second time. How did you make the stick people on the shelf behind you? I have a 
video. I don't know if I did a... I don't think I did the blog. I have a video. These are just square wood dowels that I cut. And um, knob... I think they're knob beads is what they're called, I think. We use these for a bunch of heads on stuff. And I just paint, sand it, glued, wrapped twine, and did a heart on them. I wanted to do them for Christmas, and I forgot all about it. Holding baby Jesus. Demetra, thank you for the stars. I don't like it when pe people buy cheap and sell high on eBay. Bambi, me neither. And they have a habit of doing that with Dollar Tree stuff. Now our Dollar Tree is $1.25 now. I like them with the little bow. I like it with the little bow on there. So here's my pink. And there's my red. Uh, let's see. I want to show you what I was going to do with the big one. Okay. So you can hang it on your tree. Huh. You can hang it on your tree. You can hang it on your tree. This is the birds we did last year. I have to repost. There's a blog for this. So you can get the pattern for it on the blog. I'll have to post the blog. I'll have to post it. And I'll have to think of some heart crafts. We did this heart last year, remember? With all the little flowers. And the big flowers. I still did not get all my Valentine stuff down. Okay. Now you saw all, you all saw how I did the, <laughs> the canvases with the towels. So this is what I want to do with my big, my bigger cupids. Okay. This big cupid that we just knocked all of the flocking off of. <laughs> I went looking for towels today. No Easter towels yet I couldn't find. I'm going to show you my bunny, though. I did do them last night before I went to bed. So I found Valentine's Day towels. So here's what I did. I took one of the heart towels, and I did it on my canvas. Thank you for decorating the page, Debbie. I did it on my canvas. And I'm going to tell you, I couldn't find any 8x10 canvases in Dollar Tree. And I still have never found an 11 by 14 But Hobby Lobby sells, they sell singles too. And they do go half off. But this never goes on sale. But this is a set of 10. If you're going to, I know some of you said you're going to do them as gifts. This is a set of 10 8x10 canvases for $12.99. So that's only $1.30, $1.30, $1.30 a piece. So it's only a nickel more than the Dollar Tree, <laughs> the Dollar $25 Dollar Tree. It's only a nickel more than, now these come out to $1.80 something, but this is a cool shape if you have a, the right towel. This is 12 by 12. You get seven. For $12.99. So, I don't know. I bought those. What does that mean, decorating the page? Sherry, it means uh, sharing. <laughs> oh, I love that towel. This towel came with this towel. I found this in Home Goods, And this is like embroidered on there. Like it's puffy. It's like puffy. So I'm going to see how this comes out. It should be okay to Mod Posh over it. <laughs> to share with others. Thank you. That's when I first found you. Last year you were making the bird. That was a while ago. Yeah, that was a while ago. So this goes with this towel. These two go together. And I forget. I ripped the tags off so I don't know how much they were. But... I want to put this on there. I'm going to put this on there. <laughs> Thank you for decorating the page, Norma. So now I'm thinking also we could do wood bunnies. Wood bunnies. Lee, think about wood bunnies. <laughs> we could do wood bunnies with a Easter, maybe an egg print um, dish towel or something. Uh... 
<laughs> Sorry, Marge, I clicked on the wrong post. I wish we had a home goods. Rosalind, do you, you don't have a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls either? Um, because they carry them too. TJ Maxx, I'll have to show you the ones I found. The tra truck towel would make a great pillow. It would. It would make a good pillow. But I don't feel like gluing pillows. I'm lazy anymore. I order my pillows off Amazon, just pillow covers. And I wish I could find pillow covers to sell in my store because I don't like buying whole pillows. There's, It's too much to store. Um, oh, pretty. Debbie, isn't he cute? Lee, this is what I'm doing with the big one. I didn't show her what I was doing with the big Cupid yet. Um, now, you don't have to flock it. You can paint it. You can put Mod Podge paper on it. You can glitter it. Um, I'm just kind of addicted to the... <laughs> I'm kind of addicted to the flocking. All right, let me... I'm trying to decide, do I want them right in the center? Well, he is where he is now. Or you could use fabric. Oh, Lou, you could use fabric. Oh, I could have used that nice velvet fabric that I bought at Hobby Lobby on clearance. I just got glue on there. Okay, look. How cute is that? How cute is that? Now I'm thinking maybe I want those. Oh, or maybe these. Okay. In my video, these were the things I was talking about to put on my dish. But I decided against it. I'm going to use these in the kitchen. I'm going to use those in the kitchen instead. My dishes I made last year. That tea towel is so pretty. Debbie, I love it. I love it. Not all of the packs come with a cute print that you can use. A lot of them are just solid with a stripe. You, oh, she stapled it. Yes, I stapled it. I made a video last night of it. Um, I made a video. Now, maybe I want to put these on there. Oh, let's see. But they're going to need glitter. They are going to need glitter. And I don't want to overkill it. <laughs> I don't want to overkill it. Uh, hi, Nora. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do now. You know me. It takes me a while. I got to look at it. I got to look at it. Hugs, love. Maybe hugs and kisses. Hugs, kiss. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If I want the words. I think they kind of get lost. I think they kind of get lost. Maybe I want these. I don't know. Let's see. Um, can really see the words. Oh, you can see the words or you can't? I don't think you can. I'm going to try this. Let's see. Um, these are just sticky, so I'm not going to glue them on yet. Let's see. I'm just trying to stick them on there. I never seen your sister, Barb. Where does she come on? Uh, she's a crafter. She's a crafter. She was on before me. Um, let's see. Love you. Oh, there's a little heart that could go in between. Mm, I don't want to do that. Love. I think they need to go over the hearts. I told you, it takes me a while. <laughs> it takes me a while. Okay, this would be my first thing. I think I kind of like this. Love you. And then I could put and me. Let's see. Um, or maybe I want to put it in the center.
I'm not going to glue them down until I <laughs> until I decide if I like it. Um, thanks for the heart. You're so sweet. Uh, Dawn, I am good. How are you? Let's see. Or maybe it should get all moved over. I'm not going to glue it down. I got to look at it for a couple days. <laughs> I have to look at it. But what do you think of that? I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it. Um, I have lots of canvas, so I'm excited to get started, Sherry. Karen, yay, you finally have something, Karen, we're using. Uh, love, you need to move over a little bit. Over this way. Or that way. Center it. I don't know. I'm not gluing them down because I'm not sure I'm even liking it yet. Uh, you go over one more space. <laughs> go over one more space. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm trying to cover the heart up because I don't want it. Okay, this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Or do I want a banner up there? I don't know. I like it without the words. <laughs> Pat, I'm not sure I'm liking it either. Is It might be too much. I think wood hearts flocked. Oh, yes, Linda, that's good too. I always have to play with things because I don't want to overkill anything. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like this until, <laughs> until I get back. <laughs> Put the letters on the red vertically. Oh, no lettering. Maybe pearls or other decorated ribbon. Yeah, I think it needs something else. I think it needs something else. Um... I have to look at things sometimes for a couple days. Banner would be cute. That's what I'm thinking, Kim Harper. Some kind of banner. Um, I'm thinking some kind of banner. That's what I'm thinking. A little banner hanging on top. I'll have to think about it. Oh, pom-poms. Linda says pom-poms. I like the big word with the glitter. <laughs> uh, leave the plane or maybe a border of some kind. Yeah. I mean, you could even, if you can get a frame that you push a canvas into, this would be cute in a frame. It would be cute in a frame. But right now, I'm just going to leave it like this until I decide. But I'm thinking a little banner with ribbons hanging down. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. And no words. Maybe just like a little flowers or something. I don't know. A little felt banner or bob bobs. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Banner cut out of fabric. I have to think about it. I have to think about it. But a banner. I think it needs to be a banner. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But that's what I did. <laughs> that's what I did with the big one. That's what I did with the big one. I also like this big one for an ornament. I want to make an ornament with one, but I don't have time tonight to do that. But um, there's that. Here's This is the pink flocking I used. This is the pink. Then the medium size guy. He's still drying. He's still drying. But I was thinking I took a Dollar Tree heart and I mosh podged this music paper on there. And that's what I think. I'm thinking I'm going to put him in the center of this heart. A nice white wood frame. Tina, a nice white wood frame would look nice. So even if you can buy, ooh, I should have looked in the 75 off aisle at Hobby Lobby. Look in there. See if you can find a frame that has a canvas photo, uh, canvas picture in it. Because then you can pop it out, cover it up, do this, and put it back in. 
What about red lace? <laughs> yeah. I think it needs a banner with lace hanging down the sides. That's what I think. That's what I think. But I'm going to have to let this guy dry. But I think he's going to go on this heart. I think he's going to go on this heart. I want to show you the papers I bought today. Look, I have a bunch of these to do. As soon as I get more cupids off my friend. <laughs> when I come back. When I come back. Love the music paper and Cupid. Yeah, I love the music paper. This is in the scrapbooking aisle at Hobby Lobby, this paper. Single sheets. It's single sheets. And this one, this one's also pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. But I'm going to show you the other paper. So, okay. This paper is because... Remember, I used the chunky glitter paper. This is fine glitter paper. This is in Hobby Lobby. It's on sale for a dollar. Look at this one. This is glitter. And this is a nice soft paper. Nice soft paper. Where'd you get the cupids from? Gail, from Noman Backyard. She's going to list them. Um, she's going to list them on her website. As soon as our web guy puts them up for her. We have the same web guy. <laughs> There's this one. These are a dollar half off. So they're regular two. They're a dollar. But how cute would this Cupid be with this glitter? This glitter covered. He would be cute. He would be cute. Or I kind of just like this crinkly. This crinkly red paper. Um, I like pink and gold, red and gold. There's gold music paper. Uh, that red paper is pretty. This one, this crinkly one, isn't it pretty? It's kind of stained looking, like dark, darker red in spots. It's kind of darker red in spots. I really like it. That's also a dollar. These are all a dollar when they're half off. And then there's this cool gold. That's a dollar. Or this gold. Now these were 69 cents. So they're like 35 cents. There's this pink. This red. I like this red. This is kind of like that crinkly paper, but solid. That's all my papers. But they're half off this week. Um... Uh, the crinkle paper. Yes, Kim Harper. I'm loving the crinkle paper. I wanted pink. They didn't have it. They didn't have pink. But I'm loving... I think this would look really pretty on a heart. The crinkle paper on a heart would be really pretty. Um, I need to come up with some heart ideas. I bought a big, big tinsel heart at Hobby Lobby today. I think it was $6 or something. What? Oh, I'm going to show you. Okay. So, I know you want to see the bunny. <laughs> There's the bunny. That's the bunny towel I showed. How cute is this bunny? These are 3D flowers. They're like, they're crocheted flowers on there. They're crocheted. I mod podged right over them. The crinkly paper would be perfect for... Oh, Lisa's cookies. Um, stay safe when you're gone. Patricia, I'm just going to Atlanta. We're in Atlanta two days. And then we are going to see the grandkids for three days. This is the towel I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I love this towel. I want it more. They're all gone at my Hobby Lobby. They're all gone. And then these are the bathroom ones I did. So I'm picking someone for these Thursday. And I think I kind of like the three different sizes. Because I couldn't get this on a 8x10. But this would have went cute on a 12x12. 12 12. These fit on 8x10. So these are the towels that I had. So Thursday, I'm picking someone for those. Love the bunny. Evie, I love the bunny too. Now though, see, because I think I have a striped towel that goes with this bunny. And I didn't know what to do with it. But now I know what I'm going to do with it. Because I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to put it on 
the board and Lee's going to cut out some bunnies and I'm going to do bunnies with it. Uh, so that is those. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you. Okay. <laughs> I know Easter's not on sale, but I had to buy these. I had to buy these because I didn't want them to be gone. And they were $6. And you get six bunnies. So it's only a dollar a bunny. It's only a dollar a bunny. Oops, their tails just all fell on the floor. So even if I use that circle from the Dollar Tree, I could even put a bunny in the center. Oh, <laughs> we could put bunnies. I mean, it opens up to a whole bunny, but if you want to attach it to something flat, a big egg, a big egg would be cute and attach these on there. Love the canvas for the bathroom. The bunny is so cute. Look at this bunny. I'm into the honeycomb things. I love them. So you get two pink, two blue, and two purple. So they're only a dollar a piece. Not on sale. When they go 40 off, they'll be cheaper than that. Uh, I love, love that bunny. I really love the bathroom towels, too. I love that bunny, too. And I don't know if uh, I got it last year or the year before. I think it might have been the year before. I'm not sure. Now, let's see if I can get these back in the bag and not lose their tails. I dropped them all over the floor. Two, four, six. There's probably more around. <laughs> Those bunnies are adorable. Are right, the towels Mod Podge? Tim, yes. I Mod Podge them on. I did a video. I posted it last night. But <laughs> check these. watch for these to go on sale. Watch for these to go on sale. Oh, and look. They look like they're on top of a Dollar Tree candle holder. <laughs> they look like they're on top of the Dollar Tree candle holder. Okay, watch for those. Watch for those. And then I just got more stickers. Stickers. Just stickers. Let's see. Oh, see, now these. Oh, but I don't like the green. But I bought these little things here. And then these, because everything, these are all half off. So you get the different holidays in here. So you get this heart. You get these little plaid bunnies. You get leprechaun hats. Um, clover. Pot of gold. <laughs> this Easter chick. That's one, that's one set in there. They're only two fifty, guys. I'm attaching it from. You could make another item by just using half of it. The towel. I saved my other pieces of the towel. Then you get flags, Fourth of July sunglasses, July Fourth love notes. That must be my Valentine one too. Yeah. Uh, there, this is for me, but my latte. <laughs> Love you a latte. And the Easter basket. These are $2.50 right now. You get all of those in one pack. They're stick abilities. 12 designs, two of each. 24 pieces. They're $2.50. That's a lot of little cutouts for $2.50. Um, boy, I'm confused. Now I thought you stapled. I did. I did staple. But I mosh podged it first onto the canvas. Um, I mod podged it first onto the canvas. And then I stapled it. Because it holds your towel. Um, oh my God, you got so much goodies. Uh, it holds your towel in place. Because you're going to have to center your towel nice onto your canvas. So when you flip it over to staple it, you don't want it sliding all over the place. So if you Mod Podge your canvas, put your towel on, it holds it in place. These are from Hobby Lobby, Florence. 
Paper Studio. 50 off this week. 50 off. All, all of these are 50 off. My thought is for my little white sign from the Dollar Tree. Remember the little white sign for I used on my tear tray with the stickers? Oh, here, and look at these. So these are $1.50. Oh, are they not pretty? Where did you get these? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. They're 50 off this week. 50 off this week. But grab yours. <laughs> I, I like these little cutout things. I like these little cutout things. Uh, hi, Peggy. All right, that's all I have to show you from there. Now, I'm going to show you the towels. Let's see. Okay. So, this is the towel. I'm going to do a canvas for Lee. So, <laughs> Lee, if you cut out some... Oh, Lee, if you cut out a big gnome for me, <laughs> I will do it and attach it to this towel. So, this... I'm going to do this one for Lee. All right. Because, look, I found these in TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, I got this. How cute is this? St. Patty's Day. No. <laughs> and it comes with this one. So, if she does a gnome or a clover. Oh, Lee, maybe a clover or gold on this one. Uh, thank you for sprinkling, Charlene. A big clover in gold. Oh, yeah. I can paint it gold. Okay. I was going to do this one, but then I decided the truck one. Now, this is raised. Just like the truck. See, you can mosh posh it though. And this is your other towel. Uh, I'm going to get Lee some new customers. She deserves it. She's such a sweetie. Uh, how cute are those gnome towels? Aren't they cute? They only had one. I think I think this is the only one I found there. Um, let's see. Dollar Tree was out of pizza pans, but I got Christmas ones in Dollar General for 30 cents. Uh, love, love that towel. Angela, this one. Angela Smith, PM your address. Angela Smith, PM me your address. Angela, I'm not going to get them out till next Wednesday. Um, I won't be home till... Oh, no, I'll get them out Tuesday. I'm coming home Monday. Uh, let's see. Who is that? Charlene, Charlene Butler. Charlene Butler. Charlene, I'll show you what you're getting in a minute. Um, if the towel I see through, do you paint the canvas? I didn't paint any of my canvases. And that towel from Hobby Lobby with the blue potted flowers on it, um... Evie Marlano. Evie, PM me your address. Okay, that's who at three I have. Uh, that was very see-through, and I did not paint the canvas. I didn't paint the canvas for any of them. Any of them. Okay, so Angela, PM me your address. Next week, I will send you this. Um, Charlene Butler. Okay, where do you see this one? Look at this one. How cute is this? Um... Love these towels. Deborah, I'm going to look for Easter ones. Now with this one, and look how pretty. So maybe you could do something with the other piece you cut off. Because look how pretty that is. Then you get this plaid one. A striped one. This one you get four towels. And this one. I just love these towels for drying dishes. <laughs> I love these. So... Charlene, you're getting this one, and Evie, you're getting this one. You're both getting these, and Angela, Angela, you're getting these. And I'm going to look for Easter ones. I'm going to look for Easter ones. Um, Let's see. Oh, Denise, Denise, I got to find more towels, girl. I got to find more towels. I'm going to look for Easter ones, because Valentine's Day will be, by the time I get back, Valentine's Day will be here in no time. Uh, that's the one I love. Where'd you get it? Karen Wade, which one? The, the truck or the love? The truck is from, um, Home Goods. The truck is from Home Goods. 
And this one is, oh, I pulled the paper off it. TJ Maxx. This one's TJ Maxx and the truck's home goods. Uh, let's see. My anniversary of 53 years is February 1st. Diane, happy early anniversary. 53 years. I thought I'm a lot. Um, thank you, Rita. I'm loving my tablescape, too. I'm loving it. But I will get these out to you Tuesday. Tuesday. A week, a week today. I am not packed yet or anything, so I need to go downstairs and pack. Um, the truck one I love. Jean, that's from Home Goods. And that really is a good deal because they were $7.99 and you get four towels. Four towels. So it's $2 a towel. <coughs> Chuck reminds me of my dad. Oh, how sweet. Love home good towels. Kim Harper, me too. Me too. <coughs> but boy, they have not had hardly anything Valentine's Day. They have not had a lot. Um, gnome stuff they put out today. I took pictures and I meant to post it. But they have not put out... Um, any, hardly any home, uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, oh, Lisa, Lisa, you're so sweet for congratulating everybody. And Vicky. Okay. Oh, here's an idea. Someone told me she had plain towels and she was going to, um, stencil on them. So these are from the Dollar Tree, these flower sack towels. So if you use a flower, um, sack towel, you can stencil on it. Put it on the canvas and stencil. Use a stencil on there with fabric paints. I would use fabric paints or fabric markers even. Oh, I'm going to have to try one of those. <laughs> I'm going to have to try. Um, I am going to have to try that because in Hobby Lobby, and I don't have it up here. <coughs> I don't think. Wait. No. In Hobby Lobby, I found a Valentine's truck stencil. So I wonder if I could try that on here. I wonder if I could try that on here. Um, Sherry, if you are coming to Georgia this weekend, they are calling for a big snow ice on Saturday. It's a Sunday. Oh, that's okay. I'll be with the kids. We're not flying until Monday. So let's hope um, Monday is good. And yay, Georgia won last night. Um, yay, yay, yay. After 40 years, <laughs> they won the football game. That was so exciting. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll be on, I don't know, this weekend with the kids. I want to do a craft with the kids. I got to find a Valentine's Day craft to do with the kids. Is that the flower towels from Dollar Tree? Yes, Karen. They're the flower sack towels from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. What do you get? One? Yeah, one. This will work. This is a nice thin towel. Oh, Lynn bought the Valentine's stencil too from uh, the truck stencil from Hobby Lobby. It was the only one left. And I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. But I got it. What and where are the best stencils, Sherry, for or anyone? Okay. Uh, the only two places I've ever seen good stencils is Hobby Lobby and, my, and Joanne's. Joanne's? No, Michael's. Michael's. Michael's has lots of stencils and Hobby Lobby has a lot of stencils. They're the only two places I've really seen stencils. Hobby Lobby has stencils. Um, but they don't carry the, I don't think they carry the folk art ones. And those are like sticky on the back. So they hold in place. Janine, thank you for sprinkling the love. Okay, guys, I'm going to go back. <laughs> I'm going to go pack, and I will talk to you. Uh, yeah, I will I, I'll be posting, and I'll get on this Crafts with Jack. Yes, Crafts with Jack and Scarlet are always fun. They are. They are. Sandra, you're going to have to watch Replay, girl. We made a little Cupid, a little Cupid Valentine signs um or you hang them on your tree like i just did okay guys i'll talk to you all later or tomorrow thanks bye have a good night